Am I the asshole for not paying the kids that shoveled my driveway? Hello. I am one of the many in the Midwest hit by the snowpocalypse. I think we got like 14 inches where I live. I also want to pretense this with I don't like kids. I don't hate them. I just don't have any experience with kids and haven't felt the need to produce any of my own, 26F. I work from home and received a knock at my door today. There was a group of like four 12-year-old-ish boys, and they had shoveled my driveway and sidewalk and were now requesting payment. They expected $15 each. I was really confused because they never knocked to ask if they could shovel my driveway. They just did it without asking and were expecting to be paid. I was really just dumb struck and kind of said, I don't have any cash, and one of them pulled up a smartphone saying they had their mom's Venmo account. Again, me just being extremely confused I started saying that I never agreed to pay them for anything. I was going to shovel my driveway at lunchtime. If they had asked, I would have said no. The kids got really upset, and were like, you're not going to pay us for our work? But again, I didn't ask them to shovel my driveway. They started yelling at me and I just kind of shut my door. Fast forward a couple of hours, their mom comes and knocks on the door. I open it and she started screaming at me for not paying their kids. Her points were, it's only $60 and clearly not going to break me, not wrong, they put in the work and should be paid. Her boys did a nice thing for me she was proud of her boys for using their snow day to help people, and I was being really ungrateful and going to make them turn to drugs next time. This is where I started to get kind of mad. I said that I never asked for their services, and it was nice that they shoveled my driveway, but I never agreed to pay them and they really should have asked first. She insisted I pay them this time and they'll ask in the future. But I don't want to reinforce bad behavior. Just because their children and people feel the need to let them get away with whatever, this is just not a cycle I want to perpetuate for these kids. You can't manipulate people into paying you for something they never asked for. IDK. So far I've refused to pay and I'm now getting torched on next door for being a heartless monster who took advantage of children. So I'm turning to you, Reddit, am I the asshole here? If I am, I'll just pay them I guess. IDK if I'm not seeing the situation clearly because I just don't have any experience with kids. Edit to add. A few people don't believe that I did not hear them shoveling. That's a fair thing to be suspicious of. So we did get 14 inches, but my husband and I shoveled yesterday. I'm not sure how much we shoveled versus what was left, but these kids did not shovel 14 inches on their own. My home office is in the far back of our house, overlooking the backyard. It's the furthest back you can get and still be inside. And 90% of the time I have headphones in for meetings or music. So I really didn't hear them. Other question is my driveway length. It's a two car wide driveway, and it's probably two cars long. It's pretty standard so I also felt like $60 was outrageous. Not the asshole. Shakedowns are against the law. Fire back on next door if you care about that, but this is a perfectly acceptable hill to die on. Not the asshole it's a common scam in my area of people doing, helpful, tasks and then asking to be paid for it. Firstly I never gave permission for you to be on my property and 2 ndly I never agreed to paying for you to do a task I do each week per month. That's not being helpful that's scamming. Not the asshole. Those kids are intrusive. It's like someone jumping on your car in the middle of traffic, force clean LNG your windows and then expecting cash for it. Honestly I would have just shut the door. It's obvious where those kids learned their bad and intrusive behavior. Not the asshole, you shouldn't have to pay the kids when they never asked to help. It does seem manipulative, at least on the parents part, to come to your home and ask you again to pay the kids. And $60 seems like a lot depending on the size of your driveway. Don't give them a dime. Thank them for their volunteer work. Get a camera installed because these angry kids are going to have disposable income from some sucker and they'll probably egg your house or something. Not the asshole. Thanks for the award. Not the asshole at all, they 100% should have asked first. I wouldn't pay them either and $15 each is ridiculous when you're capable of doing it yourself. I used to shovel driveways as a kid teen when we got storms in my neighborhood but always asked first this sounds like an idea a 12 year old would come up with if they were getting lots of, no, s that they would just do it then you'd have to pay either way. The mother should just pay them herself if she feels so strongly that they deserve it. Not the asshole. You cannot demand payment for a service that wasn't requested. The kids should have knocked, asked, agreed a price and then shoveled. This is also something we see quite a bit when kids are being financially abused. 
they'll be sent out to do jobs, or beg, because quite frankly adults wouldn't get a penny out of people. If two men had shoveled then knocked and demanded money it would have ended up in a straight no from anyone concerned. Kids though are cute, and given the benefit of the doubt. The mum showing up and now creating a shitstorm to intimidate you could be a sign of this. Them having mums Venmo too. Fishy fishy. Not saying it absolutely is, but it's something to consider. Not the asshole years ago, a really smart neighbor kid offered to mow and edge our lawns for free one weekend. If we liked her work, she charged dollar $x for the future. She didn't mow anybody's lawn without permission or try to get an unreasonable price. Those kids and their mother were just scammers. Am I the asshole for allowing my stepson to call me dad? My wife, 39F, and I, 36M, got married and moved in together last year after three years of dating. She has a son, 15M, with her ex-husband, 42M. He was never abusive to any of them but he used to be extremely cold, emotionally distant and easily irritable, so my wife divorced him when the kid was eight. Since then he has constantly tried to be involved in his life but the child doesn't like him at all. He tries to make a man out of him, but the son is a huge softy which is obviously an inherent incompatibility. He views his dad's approach as him not being accepting of who he is. I met the kiddo when he was 12. I had already been dating my wife for a year at that point and we both knew that things were going to get serious, so it was the right time. I instantly felt a connection to him, my paternal instincts spiked up. I'm sterile and I love children which is an unfortunate combination. From that moment on I started spending as much time with him as possible. The ex-husband really hated this and accused me of trying to steal his son. After we all moved in together, I started taking care of him full-time basically, cause I work from home. I cook him breakfast in the morning, I pack him lunch, I drop and pick him off from school, I help him with his homework, we play video games together, work out, do sports, watch movies, listen to music, go on trips, etc. He talks with me about anything. I love him so much, I consider him my own son. This week he came to me crying after a meeting with his dad. The father apparently started trash talking me and telling him things such as, he's not your real dad, he's just a stranger, he's only being nice to you to get closer to your mom, he'll never see you as his own child, etc. The poor kid actually defended me in front of his dad. I hugged him tight and assured him that I love him more than anything and that he is definitely my son. He calmed down in the end and let me know that from now on he wants to call me dad publicly and in front of everyone. He called me by my first name before, cuz I'm his male role model and real dad and he loves, respects and admires me a lot. I told him okay, whatever he feels the most comfortable with. My wife's ex-husband called me yesterday to berate me for allowing this to happen, saying that because of me he'll never be able to rebuild the relationship with his son now and that I crossed some huge boundaries and I should be ashamed of myself for that not the asshole. At all. Tell him to fuck off. If his son wants to call you, dad, it's really nothing to do with anyone but the kid. Not the asshole. The divorce happened four years before you met the kid, so it's not like you swooped in while things were getting settled to just take over as dad. Somehow, Biodad didn't bother bonding properly with his kid during that time. That's his own fault. You have a teenage son who likes you. Good job, mate. Not the asshole. His bio dad wrecked their relationship all on his own by berating his child and not respecting him. Your son gets to decide what he calls you. Not the asshole. He may have been his father, but he wasn't his daddy. Thanks for being this kid's yondu. Not the asshole your stepson calling you, dad, is not a magic spell that undoes his relationship with his bio dad. It's representative of the relationship you've built with your stepson up until this point. His bio dad has to nurture his own relationship with his son. It doesn't have to be a zero-sum game. Not the asshole. Don't answer any more calls from the ex and have any conversation via email or text. It sounds like it won't be long before it's time to revisit the custody arrangement. He ruined his own relationship with his kid by being an asshole. He doesn't get to insist everyone else be an even worse asshole to make him look better. Not the asshole you're called my stepdad, dad, my whole life, because like you, he was the one who took care of me. Thank you for being the human that you are and for loving your wife's child like your own. Not the asshole. He's 15, it's his choice and the only reason to refuse would be if you didn't feel the same way. You do. It's awesome. That doesn't have to stop his dad also being his dad. Unfortunately his behavior might push it that way.
Am I the asshole for bringing up my brother's four kids to his fiancé and potentially ruining an engagement? Okay so I, 22F, have an older brother, 28, that we'll call Jamie. We've been roommates since I was about 17. In that time, I've seen a lot of girls come and go, even when he was in a relationship with different girls. I'm not a huge fan of his actions or how he treats women in general, but it's his life and he's free to mess it up as much as he wants so I turn a blind eye to it. He has four kids. His oldest daughter is 10 and is the only one that he actually pays any child support on, but he rarely sees her. The other two are twin boys, four, that he has with one of my close friends. She didn't take him to court, so I do my best to provide for them if she needs help. His son I don't really know much about. I think he's around eight? He doesn't want kids and doesn't see them but maybe a handful of times around the year and doesn't see his eight-year-old son at all. He calls the ones he has, accidents, and has said before that he wishes he hadn't had them because he gets irritated when their mothers call him. So essentially what happened was three years ago, Jamie met a girl named Natalie and they immediately hit it off. She's moved into our apartment and I like her well enough. With his habits, I didn't expect her to last very long, but she surprised us both. Since I planned on moving out in a few months, she'd been talking about renovating my room and all sorts of stuff they could do with the space. She even laughingly said that, maybe it could be a nursery, I thought it was a joke and brushed it off. Well, a couple weeks ago, while I was out at dinner with my friends, he had decorated the apartment and proposed to her. I congratulated them and didn't have any problems with this until a few nights ago when we were all drinking and talking. Natalie was gushing about her plans for the wedding and her bridesmaids and her new ring. Here's what went wrong. She mentioned how she wanted kids as soon as she could and how she could see my brother being the best dad. I started laughing. Basically what I said was, he hasn't been the best dad to the four he has now. She asked what I meant and my brother started to freak out. I realized she didn't know and explained how he wasn't raising his kids and how he didn't even want to see them and didn't want kids at all. Apparently he hadn't told her about any of this. My brother was drunk and started yelling so I called a friend and left. I stayed away a day or two and he blew up my phone. I guess he and Natalie are fighting horribly and he blamed me for it. I ruined his engagement and I'm an asshole for telling her as it should have been his choice to tell her about the kids. Our parents agree with him and haven't been talking to me. Honal T I feel like I warned her before things got too serious, even if it wasn't deliberate. He should have told her before about them. So am I the asshole here? Not the asshole it's been three years. If he hasn't told her by now, then he did not plan on telling her. He's withholding a huge piece of information from her by not telling her he has four kids. Not the asshole. I find it funny how he claims it's his choice to tell her if he has children, but he sees nothing wrong with taking away Natalie's choice of deciding whether or not she wants to be in relationship. Marry a man who has chosen not to take care of his four children. Why does he get to have a choice, but she doesn't get the choice to make an informed decision? Not the asshole. You just did Natalie a favor. She should run as fast as she can. Not the asshole at all. I had a family member be in a long-term relationship with a guy, live with him and later find out he had an older child that he kept secret from her. It was pretty traumatic for her. You saved her from making a huge mistake. Your brother on the other hand, should probably get a vasectomy. Not the asshole. After three years, it is hardly unreasonable for you to assume the soon-to-be Sill knew about your brother's history. You're not obliged to deflect from this matter just to satisfy your brother's deception, and after three years and a marriage proposal, it could hardly be called anything but deception. If he was so serious about this relationship and yet wanted to hide, then it is his responsibility to keep Natalie away from you in this subject. It is not your responsibility to aid him. Your brother needs a vasectomy. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, Jesus your brother is dumb. How long did he think he could keep these kids hidden for? Not the asshole she should have known about your brother's kids before they even got engaged let alone married as it has the potential to negatively affect her in the long run if any of his baby mamas decide to take his ass to court for child support. Plus you know, her putting her trust into a liar and a cheat and a shitty parent. Your parents agreeing with him is deplorable. What kind of sick people think it's okay to hide their children from potential significant others, one which has their heart set on starting a family and having children no less? Am I the asshole for not letting my husband's parents live in the house I own? I, 31 female, married my husband, 35 male, when I graduated from college and he was well within his career. We both have good digress and live in sea country. 
I always wanted to pursue an academic career and wanted to pursue my PhD from a good reputable European or American university and never got to do that. My husband decided that he wanted an academic career too and decided to pursue that. He already had his master's so he went for PhD in USA and he was living at a very low paycheck and well beyond his means. He had some savings from working in a corporate setting so he was able to live off of that too. I did my master's at my home country while working a well-paying job and saved a lot. We do live in a traditional household so I was living with his parents and have no expenses. This how it is in my country after wedding you are expected to live with your husband and his parents or wherever your husband allows. After my master's I got a very good opportunity for PhD with a really good grant. I was still freelancing so I had good money. He came back to the country and basically had no savings and I at this time bought a house. He was aware of the purchase and I bought it to rent it out, with no intention of moving in and started making good money on the rent. I always wanted to do something good for my parents because my father was very poor in the beginning but he still provided me with excellent opportunities, so I purchased an apartment, nicer to what my parents live in and told my parents to rent the or current apartment to generate more monthly income for them. My husband was not aware of the setting. Well the cat got out of the bag, my husband's parents are furious with me because I have done nothing for them, I give his mother monthly allowance for fun money and pay for the maid that does the housework and my husband basically has no savings and no assets. I told him it's not my fault, he demanded to evict my parents and I told him to kick rocks, he then asked me to put his name on the house deed and I wasn't thrilled to do that as well. He told me that this means divorce and I told him we don't live in US. I will still own everything and he will have to pay my father the dowry he owes. His parents asked to let them live in the house I own and it is currently bigger than what we live in. I said no to that because that will mean cutting off a decent chunk of my monthly income. I do feel bad about his situation but feel justified in my reasoning if I put his name on anything I will have to share. I am willing to share the monthly income but he doesn't want that. I do carry his and mine expenses but that's about it. I am willing to save and buy his parents something but that will have to be in my name. So am I the asshole for not telling about my husband about my gift to parents and not giving him any asset? Not the asshole your husband cannot live past not being the breadwinner of the family. Please do not put anything in his name. He will transfer it or kick your parents out. You gave his parents money, so you are covered as he did not have money when he was studying. Now that he has moved back you still provided. He needs to earn his keep. It seems his parents expect a lot from you, but nothing from him. I have no idea about the cultural details, but from a fairness point of view not the asshole. Protect your assets, seems nobody from his family spares a thought for you. Not the asshole I think, I live in the US, so I'm not aware of any culture difference. From what you have said, I think he should be providing for them. Not the asshole. It's tradition that the husband provides, so as he should, save his money to provide for his wife and parents. Stand your ground up. Talk with your parents, and ask them to talk to religious leaders, talk to them about how he does not fulfill his job as a husband how you were not allowed to live with him abroad, that he doesn't provide all this time for the household, that you had to work to provide for yourself and his family, that you give them money from your work, and now they want to take the propriety you earned, and the fact they even want the property your parents are living. Ask your father and brothers to intervene for you. If he divorces you, leaves their name in the ground as a wife exploited, to all your community to see. Dot not the asshole. Not the asshole. You don't owe his parents anything not even the monthly allowance they get. You should put his name on divorce papers. Not the asshole he has gotten to do what he wanted on your dime. You are entitled to the fruits of your labor. If your husband demands divorce, you might be better off giving it to him but you should probably consult with a lawyer first to see how to protect yourself. There are obviously cultural implications we may not all understand at play here but it seems entirely unfair that you've supported him and his parents and they want more, all out of you while giving you nothing in return. Not the asshole. You're a strong, independent woman, and I'm seriously impressed with your financial moves. You worked for it and earned it, you do with it what you want.